Kazuya. Kazuya. Ryu. Okay, you'll have to Ryu this time around. But yeah, we'll get Stardust here. Of course, classic PS2. What was happening for more defense? Heatley? Against Kaz, you, you do have some risk with entering his zone because he's so deadly up there, but it's like the stage position is firmly in MJ's favor at the moment. Watch out. Oh, the Tatsu immediately. Starting Tatsu. These inputs are not exactly clean out of MJ's side, but he's winning a neutral game pretty consistently. And a drop combo there, too. If this keeps up like that, Kazi is one of those characters that doesn't let you drop your combos like that. So I'd say Nuka, Nuka's probably at the advantage right now. And yeah, you can't just be focusing like that. Kazi has so much access to these multi-hits that you can't just be rolling around like that. And there's a little bit... I'd say it's down, outright squeamish out of... Um, Michael Jackson just pulling around like all over him, but not really doing anything about it. Watch for the ledge trap game here. What's the call? Forward smash, not going to get the kill here. You really do want to get that kill, especially because the rage drive is now active. And Kazi is kind of scary in the corner with that, like, well, everything he has, really. Yeah, watch that combo here. See, he doesn't really get... I say he doesn't get much off it. Still gets some damage off it, but not really what you want as a Kazi player. Second round here, and then you can get an easy laser here. Misses it out just a bit. Rage Tribe is still active here. The forward smash, kind of greedy there, but also MJ kind of cornered himself, forces out a ledge trap situation, and gets out pretty much for free, only to get side beat again. Just took his opportunity and just threw it right away. It's just not what you want to see at all. Now they're just like they're scrambling out here, both sides. One wants to end it fast, and one wants to salvage something out of this. Jump, yeah, and that's a short you easy. No, not no real need to be going overly aggressive for Lucas here. I really hate that side. He had no, you don't even gain much for doing it. And you need 60 off the bat with the uh, Ryu confirmed all that. The up smash come out, it works. Tatsu here should not, isn't gonna get punished. And well, MJ's gonna die. No tech, no life. That is going to be a pretty straightforward win for Lucas here. I wonder what the Sage kind of victim because, like, it seemed like we almost had a pickup. Or just a running back. Just like, it seems like you almost had a pickup late into the game there. But just one wrong move like that just ends it all. And that's not what you want to see when you're fighting Kazia. He does the one touches himself. You don't got to be doing that onto yourself, too. Getting started with the uh, PS2 here. Now just like, again, Lucas with the pretty consistent habit. Really, these corners are something that Lucas loves to have. Even as a Kaze player, he just he wants to go there. Knock down Shoryu. I hate that S-Mash. Not sure what that was doing, but he has a okay lead here, 80% or so. That's not as much as you'd expect. Uh, a bit late on the Hadouken there. But the Let Trap is still active, just kind of walking around, seeing what's going to happen, seeing everything. Throwing out these pokes, but the top. Lucas isn't great at punching these Tatsus. I've seen this several times now where he just, like, he only goes in there after, like, later than he could. Because, like, when you get hit by that once, you don't have to use shield again. It's a one touch, so you just have to work with that again and then just, like, get him afterwards. But I think Lucas is a bit, like, un I'd say unaware of, like, how that works. And he just not going as aggressive as he could be there. That's sure you. You can't be doing that. He very lucky gets out and there's a raw Tatsu. He doesn't really even... i not a fan of it. Shield's almost broken out here now. What's the call for the ledge trap here? Just keeps him open and then, yeah, eventually gets the Tatsu. Luke, I'd say he's Getting a lot of space off the corner here, but he tends to rush getting out. you got to be more patient than that when you're in the corner. I don't care what character you are. And especially as a character who tends to have poor physics, you really got to pick your spots. And that's not what Lucas did there. 
Watch the up smash. Yep, pretty straightforward kill there. And that's going to be even with mistakes like that. If you still have some parts of your gameplay done right, you can fix yourself up and be back in the game. Oh, and the Nair. That was a very awkward Nair, I think, for, for both sides. Neither one, I don't think either one really fully knew what to do after. And we're left with the solid situation out here again. Yeah, we have some avoidance out here by uh, Michael. Rolling with these uh, jumps and better overall movement that Ryu has as a character. To the best advantage he can. Yeah, just poking his little body out. Big old body out. That's eventually going to take him out. It's a tough situation for Lucas now. And he, he's really one to anti air, but it's just like you want to anti air so, so bad. But it's like there's only so much you can do with such a small hurtbox, small hitbox from above like that. And I said small, obviously, I'm not trying to downplay it. It's just that when someone's like riding above you like a, like a frog, you can't just be out here being like a lily pad because you're just going to get popped on over and over again. There's nothing to do about it. Yeah, Lucas, I want to see, I think he'll be relatively aggressive here with how he wants to work with it. Yeah, back here, we're trying to like do some like whole cross-up shenanigans. And yeah, Lucas has got to take this kill here, I think, in this corner. He doesn't have to be too aggressive about taking the corner here, but I don't want silly mistakes. And Uppy is going to get the kill relatively sour, more sour than I thought it would, to be honest. As far as like that kind of hit taking the kill. And a weird grab there. Lucas not proven to do like full zero to death combos with Kazuya, so he's going to have to do his more honest than most. Sh mm. Gets the confirm there, but gets the hit, but not the confirm. And with combos like shoddy like that, and yeah, he just walks into that DP. You got that, you gotta check that kind of stuff. If your timing is not quite right, there is a very, very good chance that you'll just be blown up. And with the tendency of M MJ to be very open and just throwing out hitbox. He's a hitbox kind of guy. If he like misses a hitbox, he'll throw out another one. He's not a spot dodger, he's not a roller. He's typically gonna throw out another hitbox. Same characters, Kazuya, Ryu, of course. Up opping for game three. Nothing too special here. We'll just roll the Hollow Bastion. That would be solid in the first set as well. It's a very solid counter pick for him. Good chunk of the cast. The laser rolled up high. Does not get taken advantage of. A bit risky for uh, MJ to do that, though, so I don't mind. Get off the platform. Does not. Eats 20 for it. Yeah, Lucas staying very far away. He tends to want to stay far away in these electric scenarios, you know, like going for a little burst here and there. It's not consistent at all as far as like either side goes, because I think uh, MJ likes to do that sort of scenario as well, and it's just not. You, I Being close is scary for both of these characters, but also staying far away doesn't get them what they want. It's sort of like a tightrope that you want to lean towards, and eventually I'd say you sort of have to like go for something like that so that where you can reasonably say hey i know what you're gonna do out here and i believe that oh you just kind of killed yourself there i don't know what that was but you kind of just have to be more aggressive on these things because by game three you should have some you should have at least some tendency on the opponent to figure out like what they're going to do in situations like that that's part of your challenge as a player to figure out what exactly they're trying to do and this should reasonably be a dead. Re no, misses the edge guard. And the up smash is not going to get him there. Either that. And the up e just throwing it right back at him. Of course, that's also invincible. Huge hitbox as well. And the jab, sure, you're not going to get the stock either. Kazi is so, so heavy. Oh, that kind of a greedy nair. At this point, you kind of do need it, but I feel as though. You did that uh, with a bit of non, with just desperation, I'd say. Check out the corner here. Both of them are taking it right now. Reverse Nair. He's getting some tricky air dodge stuff happening, but not really converting off it the way he'd want to. And yet, he gets air dodge out. Natatsu is going to get him opened up for disappointingly no damage but he misses that punch again. He's just like scrapping out here, which heavily favors Nuka. Nuka's here. And yeah, down throw again. Just, not, Nuka's is just not, neither of them are really converting the way they'd want to here, but it means so much more for MJ here. 
because he's the one that has to roll it back and make the comeback here. If Nukas makes these relatively meager combos happen here, he's still doing plenty of damage. He still has plenty of character with plenty of kill power. And that would just do it straight up. Nukas takes a pretty straightforward win here. As I said before, not so straightforward, but it got very, very scrambly.